the cold of winter time, just like the spring and summer rhyme, they almost fall upon the line in these times, these times of gold. Well, we laugh and we cry, we push and we try. That's all that we can do. We search and we scuffle, we go through the trouble to gather all the clues. Like leaves, we blow all through the years. Must go, nothing to fear in these times, these times of gold. Stop me. 
everybody. This story has got to do with a crazy little man I used to know. What I called the X-Man. He's about an inch of plastic figurine That I found behind the couch without too many other things He was holding an axe with his right hand Wearing a green tank top and burgundy pants Green wristbands and a green cummerbund With little black combat boots I'm not done You had a bald head and a fat midsection And what most might call a white person's complexion Had a stupid grin, black dots for eyes Like a fat mist, a clean and ball berry in the sky Or perhaps like the Buddha moon lighting like a Viking Always so content and so delighted while he's striking Well, is it just me, or was his grin condescending? Saying I'm always happy, but you're just pretending. You know I always hold this axe, but you'll always be defending. You're human and I'm not, so you worry and feel empty. Shut up, I yelled and realized he wasn't talking Turned my head for a second and I thought I saw him walking So I tried to sleep, then he came to my dream Breathing life size much larger than me Holding the axe overhead, but completely stationary In a cold sweat dread, I awoke, that was scary Sat up on the couch, but I saw was ghastly Little bastard on the armrest, grinning, staring at me So to get him back a little match and set on the flame The light as he melted, yes, I've gone insane Well, my mind's going crazy, veering off like a train Sitting here alone Nothing else to do, I return to sleep Nothing else to do but hope for a dream I guess times are changing, nothing's as it seems Find all my girlfriends from magazines
Please forgive me. Everything's falling apart. But you can't see it. Because you can only think as much as I allow you to. You're sheltered from the ugliness. Although wanting a chicken, the man, hungry today, must eat the egg. Nobody was waiting there for him. He looked like a stick man on fire in the dusk, so golden and faded. There was an arch protruding from the almost epidermal-like surface. It was time for a new heat rash. Somebody yelled in an alternate mind like a split-screen television image. We understood silently. No knowledge could dominate that. We saw drop-top old-school Cadillacs, spitting like unidentified flying objects in the desert streets. All those floating red lights like eyes. Attractive skin-flint pirate ladies residing with legs akimbo and yellow communes outside of Frisco. All listening to the same song. You know, I tried to hear it too, but... It was an endeavor with a less than hopeful perspective winning chance, and the wind was far too profuse anyway. Tumbleweeds! Tumbleweeds all over the fucking place. And roaches built like minuscule brown tankards with feelers like little cannons filled with much, much pus. Pus like you wouldn't fucking believe. I used to utilize that pus like adhesive paste for all of my torn documents. <laughs> I had a good deal of torn documents that I kept in an oak drawer dresser. Only on one pair of slacks, two t-shirts and a hat. Not to mention a pair of cowboy boots sitting over there in the corner. I never trust anybody though. I always remove both t-shirts when leaving the house. You know, there's much need in this world. While the merit of the specific requests are frequently arguable, there can be no doubt that something is hidden, amiss, misunderstood, or even distorted. Something about the way we live from day to day is distorted. When presenting this idea, I'm often told that all things are necessary. All microcosms have their own order. This order, I am told, is a smaller version of a larger natural way. Well, I have several masters. They're as follows. Sex, money, food, and adulation. Surely there must be a way to detach. No, probably not. Listen to your own voice to remember you aren't crazy. And I can tell you something else. Nothing in my curriculum at any level of academia prepared me for what I have experienced as an adult. When confronted with a problem, I have never pulled a solution or even taken comfort from any experience I had in school. School was, for me, another worthless, required step on the road to a place that does not exist on the road to a place that does not exist on the road to a place that does not exist i am nobody <laughs>